All right, guys, who's a fan of mint and fragrances? Are you a fan of this note, this aromatic herbal note? It's a prized herb for me, for my family, being from the Mediterranean. This is stuff that you consume quite a bit of. So I love the smell, the taste, everything about mint, but it has to be authentic. It cannot taste or smell like toothpaste or mouthwash. I can tolerate it a little bit, but not a lot. But today I've got some really, really great minty fragrances, 15 total. And I'm going to tell you what they are and what they smell like coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, we're getting minty today. Minty fragrances are a little difficult for me. I have to make sure they're authentic smelling. I've heard this from you guys as well. I mean, I can tolerate a little bit of that mouthwashy, toothpastey kind of a mint smell in fragrances, but not a lot. Um, so I was a little more challenged with it a long time ago but now I'm kind of getting used to the idea of mint. So anyway, I've got 15 of them here. Some really, really great authentic smelling mint fragrances. Uh, some designerish uh, houses and some designers, of course, and then of course uh, the niche houses as well. 15 total, but before I get to the fragrances, as always, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So I was trying to compile 20 total fragrances and I wasn't just going, I mean, what I was trying to say was I'm not, I'm not anytime going to get to 20 fragrances. So I thought, you know what, the year is coming to an end and I've been meaning to do a mint fragrances video. So might as well just leave it at 15. And this is a kind of a slow week anyway, between Christmas and uh, the new year. And people have a lot of time to watch uh, these longer videos during the week, of course. So today I'm doing 15 mint fragrances. And uh, these are some of my favorites. I mean, I'm going to tell you which ones are older in my collection and which one are newer mint fragrances. And I didn't have a lot of older uh, fragrances in my collection. Uh, mint wise it's been a challenge finding great mint fragrances and I'm sure there's more out there and as I said I was trying to compile more but some of the mint fragrances I just did not like um, one of the fragrances I don't care for is uh, geranium Paul Monsieur which is very very toothpaste even though it's ger uh, geranium I believe it has a very very prominent mint note in there uh, or it just smells like mint because typically in fragrances you're going to find geranium and mint notes together. You'll see in a lot of these fragrances the two notes together come up quite frequently. And speaking of geranium, there is a geranium video on the channel as well. Go catch that if you're curious. And one more mint fragrance uh, that I've smelled that I don't care for. Um, there's a fragrance by Healy, the mint fragrance from this house that I don't really care for. It smells like toothpaste to me, sadly. Anyway, let's get started. We've got two fragrances from the house of Amouage. First one is Beach Hut Man, uh, with a very confusing name because Beach Hut Man to me, I'm thinking it's going to go into the beach territory, but it's not really because it's going into a mint uh, garden pretty much. Uh, more of like somebody's beautiful garden, like an, I, I'm, I'm visualizing a, an English garden where they have beautiful, uh, you know, ivy and of course all the mint grown and very, very beautifully done, you know, like very, very uh, prized kind of garden. And that's what this smells like to me. Lots of mint, lots of I ivy, some bitter galbanum. So there is a metallic touch in here. Patchouli, vetiver, oak moss, very, very aromatic. I, I guess I would call it a sort of a fougere-like uh, fragrance, but not quite. But it's ultra minty, ultra aromatic, ultra herbal. There's, of course, metallic sharpness in here as well. And I quite like it. I love the pungent quality of the mint and the mint doesn't smell like toothpaste. So that's Beach Hut Man from Amouage. Second mint fragrance from uh, Amouage is Enclave, this recent one I did a review of. In fact, I have a review of both Beach Hut Man and Enclave. This one uh, is totally different than the mint in um, Beach Hut Man, whereas the mint there is quite authentic. For me, the mint in here is very, very candied. Like I'm getting candied mint, almost like any minty candy. So this one kind of is slightly bordering the toothpaste-y uh, mouthwashy. It doesn't go there, thankfully. Uh, but it's an oriental fougere is what this one's known as. So it has mint, cardamom, pink pepper, cinnamon, uh, amber, 
uh, not amber, but amber extreme, sort of like ambroxan, labdanum and leather. For me, if you've ever had these little mints with little, cho not chocolates, but maybe sort of going into the chocolate territory, little mints that you can bite into, it's like a um, crunchy outside, white, very minty inside. There's like a sweet, more vanilla, uh, chocolatey kind of a thing in there. That's what the uh, this one smells like. So different from uh, this one. They're completely, totally different fragrances by using mint in the fragrances. It, let me know if you've compared these two together. Which do you prefer? And can you guess which one of these two is my favorite? Put a comment down. I'm not going to tell you. I'll tell you in a, in a later video. But anyway, that's Enclave from the House of Amouage. So this next one is from the House of uh, Parfums de Marly. This is Sedley. So Sedley is minty, very minty, but it's uh, almost like a... What am I gonna say? It's 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 mint with lavender. There's ambroxan. There's rosemary. So it's almost like a like a herbal garden come alive. But there's so much uh, citrus is in there as well. There's lemon. There's bergamot. There's a uh, grapefruit in here. It's almost like you're drinking like an herb tea with lots of citrusy lemon in there or something like that. There's also some cashmere and of course I mentioned ambroxan and some vetiver. So this is a great fragrance to wear. It's a very, very classy masculine uh, fragrance. Uh, fresh, refreshing, but kind of going into that blue direction of men's fragrances. Anyway, Parfums de Mar Marley's uh, Sedley is a great mint fragrance. And this next one is from the house of Mugler. This is Crypto Mint. So, uh, this is a gourmand mint, uh, and Mugler did a great job with the mint in here. It doesn't go toothpastey, it doesn't go mouthwashy. It does smell authentic, but a synthetic authentic, if that makes sense. So, I think the notes that they're using here are a little on the synthetic side. It doesn't matter because it still smells great. And I like the whole mintiness with the patchouli, the geranium. There's a geranium and mint coming up, as I mentioned earlier. Dark chocolate, tonka, vanilla, coffee, sage. So, this to me reminds me of a minty um, ultra zest from Mugler. Not sure why they discontinued that fragrance because I really love that fragrance but this to me as I said reminds me of a mintier version of that fragrance. Remove the orange, blood orange in that fragrance, replace it with mint and that's pretty much what you get here. I preferred that one a little more than this but this is definitely a good substitute if you especially if you like the mint idea. So this is Mugler's Crypto Mint. Let me know if you've tried this one or any of the other three fragrances I've spoken about so far. As I was saying earlier, Mint is a prized herb for us. Mint was on our uh, dinner, lunch tables, even in breakfast tables. You know, in the Middle East, uh, in the Mediterranean, you always have a platter of herbs and mint was just overflowing out of this platter of herbs and, uh, you know, vegetables and fruits and things like that that you would eat with your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So I really, really love mint. I think mint is a great thing and also to have to give, give credit to the pandemic. Um, since I work alone now, I don't have assistants or associates. Uh, I've come to uh, basically um, get addicted to mint tea all over again. You know, I, I was a fan of mint tea quite a bit ago. I kind of dropped it. I was more addicted to caffeine, but now in the afternoons, I have a, a cup of uh, mint tea and I'm happy in the afternoons. And mint, just I just love mint. I don't know if you guys are as, uh, as fans of mint uh, to consume as I am. Let me know and also let me know while you're at it if you you're fans of the note and fragrances. Next we're going to the House of Imaginary Authors and it's Saint Julep. So this one is a beautiful, very, very fresh and slightly gourmandy, boozy kind of a minty tea focusing on mint juleps. Uh, of course, it's a, a southern uh, cocktail. Not a big, never really had mint juleps personally, but I think this is what uh, is inspired uh, for this particular fragrance. So there's sugar here, and when you're wearing this fragrance, you do get the sugary, crystally kind of an experience. There's a crackly touch when you wear the fragrance. I don't know if it's subconscious to me, but I do experience it. Lots of mint and then there's some tangerine, some whiskey, uh, and even though there's whiskey in here, it's not an ultra boozy fragrance. There's boozy touches, but it's not like your full-on boozy fragrance like other boozy fragrances. But there's watery notes. There's some ambergris and magnolia. A really, really beautiful, slightly gourmandish, slightly boozy uh, fragrance that I like to wear in the summertime. The mint is there. It's definitely prominent, and the sugar is there as well with the tangerine note. Really, really great fragrance. One of my favorites from Imaginary Authors, and as I said, I love wearing this in the summertime. It smells great in the summertime. So that is St. Julep. If you don't know that one, do 
uh, check it out. If you're a fan of it, let me know. Uh, this next fragrance is probably one of the most authentic mint smells. Authentic, but uh, in my family, since we love mint a lot, mint was uh, grown and also dried, you know? This fragrance to me smells like the best dried mint ever. It doesn't smell like fresh mint because for me, fresh mint versus dry mint has different smells. Even though they're kind of similar, but there's differences in the, the smells. And with this fragrance, it's a, just like a beautiful, lots of uh, aromatic uh, dried minty notes. I'm talking about Eta Libre Orange, You or Someone Like You. I love this one. It's such a great scent, such a great scent. This one focuses on mint, green notes, cassis, rose, grapefruit, musk and bergamot. It's fresh, it's refreshing, it's aromatic, it's herbal, it's slightly rosy, it's slightly grassy, it's green. Oh, wow, it's such a great fragrance. This is probably uh, one of the least edgy or out there kind of fragrances from this house, but one of the best. Really, it just smells so good, you know? This is the kind of smell that's addicting. There are some fragrances or smells you're addicted to and you just keep you know, wearing it over and over again. It smells great. Anyway, you or someone like you, if you don't know it, do check it out. It's perfect in the summertime. So that's Italy with Orange, you or someone like you. This next one is a very, very beautiful, pleasant surprise for me. I was surprised at how great it is. And you can get it for around $30, $40 at the discounter. It's from the house of Burberry. And this is Mr. Burberry Indigo. Probably my favorite of the three fragrances in this collection. I think there's three, right? There's probably a fourth one that was supposed to come out or coming out soon. Not created by Francis Kirkjian, but this one is created by Francis Kirkjian. And out of the first three, I haven't smelled the fourth. This is my favorite. It's just a great mint fragrance, you know? Lots of beautiful, mint note in here very very herbal very aromatic but there's an ozonic quality aquatic slight watery touch in here as well but it doesn't go um the fishy marine kind of smell more like aquatic as in water there's a you know a watery touch in here running throughout the fragrance which makes it very very fresh and refreshing but beautiful fragrance really really beautiful fragrance simplistic easy to wear great freshy all year round is fine too. Just re realize that it's a, it's a, on the light side and the fresh side. But it's done really, really great with that uh, mint note in here. Anyway, Mr. Burberry Indigo from the House of Burberry, a great scent for me. All right, next up, going to the House of Diptyque, and it's Eau de Minte, this one right here. Now, this one also was featured in my geranium fragrances video because it features a mostly... Uh, almost equal amount of mint with geranium. But for me, the mint stands out. But you know what? Uh, for this particular fragrance using mint and smelling a little bit like uh, like a uh, Dracar Noir is a little confusing for me. It's it's or maybe it's very very unique for me because of the creative things they could do in the laboratory for fragrances to use certain notes to make them smell like other things, you know? This is a great, great uh, aromatic herbal fragrance. I would call it a fougere, focusing on the mint note, geranium, nutmeg, patchouli, and a little bit of rose as well. It smells fantastic. It might lean masculine. I've heard negative things about it from women because it does smell a little uh, classic and masculine. So if you like fougeres, if you like barbershop fragrances, if you like 80s powerhouse-ish kind of barbershop-y fragrances, definitely recommend you try Eau de Minte from Diptyque. Really, really great fragrance. Just be warned, if you're up to uh, not enjoying classic fragrances, this might come off a little old and tired for you guys, but I love that kind of smell. Anyway, Eau de Minte from the House of Diptyque. Great, great scent. Okay, guys, next up, going to the House of Zerjoff, and this is 1861 Renaissance. So this one, to me, is a beautiful, almost, no, I should take that back. It's a, it's a beautiful cross between the fresh mint and also the dried mint together. I was going to say uh, just the dried mint, but for me, I get the fresh mint touches in here as well. Lots of lemons with mint, tangerine, bergamot, lily of the valley, rose, pettigran, amber, and cedar. For me, it's almost like you've uh, boiled some mint tea, right? And then you've taken it out and you pour it into a mug or glass or whatever. And then next to it, you've got some uh, fresh uh, mint leaves and some slices of lemon. So you put those in that mint tea as well. For me, that's what this one smells like. It's fresh and refreshing, slightly tea-like, but also more like a mint tea and not like a caffeine tea or things like that. Just like boiled teas, what I'm getting with this, but lots of lemons, lots of fresh uh, lemons. There are some, f uh, you know, some, uh, 
there's some uh, floral touches in here, some Lily of the Valley of the Rose, and some Pettigrain. The Pettigrain is pretty prominent. It's a bitter green, uh, orange leaf note, but a very, very fresh and refreshing fragrance from um, the House of Zerzhov. So that's 1861 Renaissance. Let me know if you're fans of that one. We're going to a house that has two fragrances, but I'm also going to talk to you about a third one. It's the House of Guerlain. First up is uh, Guerlain Om. This one right here, for me, this one's mint, lime, rum, vetiver, floral, notes, cedar, patchouli. It's a classy fragrance. It's woody. It's aromatic. It's a bit spicy. It's a bit earthy. Slightly boozy as well. There's a rum note in here. But I think this is a great, great fragrance. It's a, it's a special fragrance for me. Late discovery for me, but I enjoy it. I have a comparison of this on the channel with uh, uh, Guerlain Homme uh, Le Boise is what this one called. I was drawing it blank. But... Um, they're similar and different at the same time. This one, the vetiver kind of is amped up more and less mint, but still has mint. But this one, the mint is pretty prominent. So they're both different takes on these kind of similar notes, which is kind of a cool thing to do. I wish, um, although that's really m mostly like a flanker. But either way, if you like mint, you should try these two fragrances. Uh, I think they're just classy and masculine and fresh and refreshing, woody and aromatic at the same time. So the next one is from the house of Guerlain once again. This is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool. Here we go with the L'Homme Ideal series of fragrances where you know they focus on almonds and a little bit of tonka beans. But with this one, there's lots of mint. Mint with almonds, lots of almonds. You can smell the mint nicely blended with the almonds. And this one goes down pretty easy. In fact, the series go down goes, goes down pretty easy. But I think this is a great scent. It's a fresh scent it's refreshing it's aromatic it's minty it doesn't smell like you know the toothpaste kind of mint it smells like authentic mint but nicely fused with the almonds in here a great scent I think uh, just I wish these fragrances from this collection uh, this particular Lom Ideal collection smelled a little thicker, you know, they're light and kind of transparent smelling So they don't last a long time. Obviously as you can see it goes down pretty easily I'm an over sprayer to begin with but when I love the scent I get addicted and I just spray a lot anyway Lom Ideal Cool is a great fragrance featuring mint from the house of uh, Guerlain. Going to the house of Comme des Garçons, it's Nomad Tea. So this used to be in a different bottle. Now it's in their olfactory library collection in the white bottle. And here we have mint and tea together. What a combo, right? Mint, tea, artemisia, geranium, sugar, some woodsy touches. You know, it's typically similar to other... Uh, Come the Garçon fragrances, uh, but uh, you know this one definitely goes into the tea and mint direction, which is quite uh, a change of pace, a, a unique change of pace for me. It's not like your incense ones or the funky woodsy fragrances that they have, but I like this one a lot. That's why I recently picked it up. Uh, I bought it from ZGO Perfumery, and I uh, really enjoy wearing it. I love the idea of tea, and I love the idea of mint, and this has the best of both worlds for me. Anyway, that is Comme des Garçons Nomad Tea, a great fragrance. Only three more left, guys. This next one is a fragrance I featured over the weekend for fragrances that smell like Christmas. This is from the house of Annick Goutal. It's Nuit à Toilé. So this one is a fusion of mint with pine and fir. You know, pine and fir remind me of Christmas because, of course, the Christmas tree smells like pine and fir, and that's prominent here, but it's nicely meshed with the the mint notes. So I, I, they work together. They complement one another because mint has some similar touches to pine and fir and vice versa. And I think it's a great complementing uh, notes to put together. There's some citrus uh, notes of citron in here, some orange. Uh, there's a dry immortel note, which kind of goes into slight uh, caramelly brown sugary direction with angelica and tonka beans. A wonderful fragrance. Just be warned, you won't find this blue bottle anymore because it's now no longer even called Anique Goutal as a brand. It's called Goutal Paris, but um, I recommend this one uh, for a mint lover. But the mint in here is not the fresh mint, it's the dried kind of mint. The whole experience is a dry experience, especially the fact that it has Immortel in the notes. Anyway, that is uh, Anique Goutal's Nuit Etoile, or look for Goutal Paris. Nuit à toile. Two more left, and this next one's from the House of the Gate, and it's First Sight, this one right here. So this one I haven't spoken much about, but I have spoken about this particular house, the Gate, uh, with a couple of other fragrances. But for me, this one smells like a mint cocktail. If you like mint with kind of sweet, sugary, like slightly custardy, milky uh, kind of... Uh, 
notes or smells, then this one's definitely one for you to try. So it has notes of mint, lemonade, there's some sorbet note, uh, does definitely smell like sorbet, like lemony mint sorbet, citruses, some pear, green leaves, cedar and musk. So it's very cocktail-y, slight fruity, desserty kind of a experience with lots of mint. Beautiful fragrance, love wearing it. It's fresh, it's refreshing. You can take it out in the summertime or in the wintertime, uh, you know, wear it because it gives you this very, very uplifting and happy vibe. So that is first sight from the House of the Gate. Last but not least, we're gonna end the video with this particular fragrance from the House of Banana Republic called Grassland. So this one focuses on mint, ozonic notes, apple, patchouli, oak moss, vanilla, pettigran, geranium, lavender. In the end, it's an aromatic fougere, could be an oriental fougere. Uh, it has lots of mint with the ozonic touches. It does remind me a little bit of uh, green Irish tweed from uh, Creed, but it doesn't really stop there. You know, it's kind of hinting at it. And a lot of fragrances are hinting at green Irish tweed for me recently, um, especially the one uh, with um, Rogue Perfumery's uh, Fougere Lobe. But either way, uh, this is a unique fragrance that I really, really enjoyed. First, I thought, you know what, it's going to be a total clone of Green Irish Tweed, but it's not. It's wonderful, and the mint definitely is authentic. It smells very, very minty, and it has those ozonic touches, so it's slightly watery, uh, and also the apple comes in quite a bit as well. It's fruity with the apples. Either way, Grassland from the House of Banana Republic. And that is the last fragrance for today in my 15 minty fragrances video. Let me know what are your favorite mint fragrances if they weren't featured here. If these are the ones that were featured here, of course, let me know what they are. Uh, I'd like to find out. Also, if you don't like mint, let me know and let me know why you don't like mint uh, in fragrances. Let me know which notes you want me to do videos on going forward in the new year. I know the year is coming to an end. Uh, I'm happy 2020 is leaving us. I uh, cannot wait for 2021 and uh, moving on with uh, what's going on in the world. But um, I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching my videos. And uh, as I said, let me know what notes you want me to cover in uh, videos. Uh, we've got a new year coming with lots of new videos, uh, so I'd love to find out what you'd like to see. There are some uh, notes that I haven't done videos on, uh, like top 20s and things like that, that I will do going forward, but uh, there's also the less known notes that I'd love to cover. If you have ones that I haven't spoken much about, please do list below so I, I can plan out some videos uh, and things like that. Uh, also, uh, one more thing, um, there's a email address that I put in my info box uh, of questions you guys might have. You can send me questions. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on those questions a lot more in the new year, so stay tuned for those. So if you have any questions or things or topics you want me to cover and you don't want to comment, you can send an email as well that with the email address in the info box. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon.